hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the ambient light and everything for the outdoor portrait photography so i just got this photo from the wallpaper hd and i'll give you that download link but one thing is that today i'll discuss about the ambient light in this photo you are just getting all the things is good and the model just color of these model dress is red and white but one thing is that for the sky you are getting not for full focus for the just model and in the image if you want to make the photo like a soft light and the eye friendly color you have to adjust the light that is the ambient light whatever it is whatever the photography it is and uh, whatever the light it is but you have to know the controlling of the ambient light and uh, how to do that you can do it with the photoshop easily so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification so i'm just making the copy of this layer by pressing ctrl j or you can drag it and drop in these new layer options go to the adjustment layer and levels from here you're getting the lights all the histogram is in a upper way so you can just make it down like that but you have to make it like this so you can make it like that so but you have to make it like this so if you just drag this one into middle it will be overexposed so don't do that and if you make it like that it will be more black like that or like that if you drag it like that no and if you drag it no that's not the proper way so we won't use the level so we'll use a plugin that is a camera filter and go to the filter options and camera filter this one is the plugins if you are user of the creative cloud version of photoshop then you are getting these plugins automatically otherwise you have to install it manually so here highlights if you just down the highlights let's see the magic so yeah if you down the highlights the sky will be de-highlighted and the model will be prominent so if you want to make the model more prominent you have to work with the face color skin color and the dress color of the model so here is the panel that is the hsl hue saturation luminance all the colors is here red orange yellow green aqua blue purple and magenta so the model face color is the orange color and yellow color i'll increase the orange luminance a little bit and yellow luminance a little bit up so and the saturation i'll decrease the saturation a little bit so and the red color as well so that's good and for this photo the red color is like uh, that's not the posh color red so if i make it like a little bit orange type yeah that's fine so in the sky you are getting the light blue uh, the faded blue so if i increase the saturation of the blue color a little bit not too much a little bit up yeah and the luminance if i make it down so what will happen so let's see the before one and after one the same photo but you are getting the different type of exposure so i think this one is the best way to do that so yeah that's good and then the green color if i make the green color darker that means the luminance of the green color darker and the saturation if i make it up and the hue i'll control the hue like that so that's the friendly eye friendly color so after that here is the fx options and if i dehaze this one a little bit yeah the all the thing will be prominent so here is the options and dehaze a little bit not too much so let's see the before one and after one yeah the model is in a proper 
you are just at first you are looking at the model not the other things that mean in this photo at first you are looking in the highlighted area and then watching the models and at first red color then watching the model and the highlighted color but in this photo at first you are watching the full model so this one is a technique and here i will show you another some tricks here is the options the camera calibration and you can control the color if you make it modern color just you can make it like that the green color it will be like that so if you make it wormy you can do that if you want to make the cool color you can do that so here is the primary red color you can make it like this so that's the fine yeah the primary blue color i'll make it like that so here and another options here is the shadow option if i make the shadow down yeah that's fine and white if i make it up that's good and the black color if i make it like blackish and shadow i have to make it up so now let's see the before one and after one yeah in this photo you are getting the light on the light and in this photo you are getting all the things that means the car the background and the sky and the grasses so this one is the way to just add your ml light so here another options the tone curve you can make the photo like over me you can use the tone curve it will make your photo more posh yeah posh look so and dreamy look actually so yeah that's good this one is the proper dreamy look and the red color if i control the red color yeah that's fine and here from here i'll add some contrast and if you control the temperature from here so not too much warm yeah little bit cool minus two minus two yeah that's good and clarity i'll make it a little bit up and variance a little bit up so from the camera calibration i'll adjust some things like like more like wormy type so now you are getting the artistic look in your photography so let's see the before one and after one before that i'll adjust the hsl the blue color hue of the blue color i will make it aqua and saturation will be a little bit up and the aqua down and a little bit down so that's cool let's see the before one and after one in this photo all the things good i do appreciate that but you are getting uh, too much highlighted but in this photo you are getting part by part in a detail feelings so this one obviously will be the you know, just eye friendly and the audience friendly and audience will attract in this photo so here another tricks uh, here is the options the split toning if you make increase this one okay and then yeah if i change the color full the highlight area will be changed so i want to make the highlighted area like that dreamy and here is the shadow options in this photo which areas are shadow so if i make the situation like that and if i give the shadow this type of color then it will change according to this color palette so if i make this one like yeah that's good if i make the situation like this and change the color here i use the like aqua color and you can use here another different color and it will make your photography more amazing like this so if i make it like this that's fine but i'll decrease the saturation yeah the shadow and highlight this one is the main purpose of this photo yeah that's fine saturation i'll make it up okay let's see the before one and after one yeah this one is uh, 
obviously the artistic uh, thing you are just watching so i'll save this preset for you guys and i'll give you the preset download link in my very description i'm giving the name of this one the ml light or art okay and hit the ok button it's loading and it'll give you the output so before one and after one when you're getting this photo then this photo you will be just amazed for this one just because of uh, you are getting all the parts of this photography like the trees and the skies cloud and the car and the dress of the model and the expression of the model all the things is prominent and in this photo let's, let's measure this one you are getting something but you have to just um, you will just watch this model only but in this photo you are watching all the things so now i will control the color at, at least the things so adjustment layer and the levels from the levels i'll make it like a little bit darker that means de highlighted like that yeah that's fine and if you want to make another like photo filter you have to go to the adjustment layer and the solid color use the solid color like that and hit the ok button and then make the blending mode to normal to soft light and now we can change the color so here is the options you can change the color like that so if you want to make it wormy you can make it like this so this one is pretty good and hit ok if you need you can change the opacity of this photo so that's fine yeah that's good from here i'll go to the another options the brightness and contrast options and i'll add some contrast so it will be like uh, the drawing type and then adjustment layer again and the uh, hue saturation from the hue saturation option if we increase the saturation it will be good and then the gradient options from the gradient option i'll add some gradient this one last one and make it the style radial and the degree will be angle will be zero degree and make the scale like 341 make it reverse and dither as well you can just move this one like that so i'll replace here okay this one will focus the model and just add some little bit vignetting so it will be like amazing dreamy type all the things so the before one and after one so this one and then i'll add some photo filter this one change the photo filter i'll change it to the warm little bit this one this one that's fine and hit the ok button before one and after one hope that you enjoyed this video and learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend i may say what i'm signing out today but i do want to say one thing please check out my video description and you'll get all the stocks things and uh, preset links over there and thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial until the next video i may say marif bye bye